Alright guys, this is Yan. Hey, hello. So let's let's play. Um, right. So I think we need to go Togen Kyo because uh, Omi Lengo might be um, attacking there. So I'm gonna head over there and um, go. And meanwhile, I decided I'm gonna stop the game and I'm gonna explain. Like, I'm gonna open up my Google browser, Chrome, and I'm gonna you know show stuff like. How I did in previous video where I explained about uh, Funashi. I think it's very useful. I think, you know, I want to give as much information as possible about Japan so you can, you know, understand more deeply instead of just, you know, kind of scratching the surface of the uh, Japanese culture. I think it would be kind of. Oh, cool. Okay, uh, yep. So each time I level up, they, uh, um, you know, heal the health and uh, SP. No, he called uh, Shibuya. No. Or Shibutani. I don't know. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, this is like convincing. So if I use that, um, I can talk to one of the enemy and he will leave the item and he, I guess he will disappear. That's cool, but I'm not gonna use that right now. No, thank you. So he's level three, so he's... Okay, right. I think someone mentioned there's a button that I can guard uh, while getting attacked, but I don't know how to do that, so I kinda... Oh my gosh! Okay, oh, but no one came. Stop calling, you bastard. Okay. So... Let me see. Do they have... Okay. Tutorial. Uh... Wait. No. Okay, I have to look it up. But I guess when I'm getting attack during the fight, I can push the button and I can, I guess, guard? Not quite sure how to do that. Okay. The left right here should be in a corner. Yep, I see. Him. Oh, hey! <laughs> okay, so instead of attack, like you know, physically tackling them, if you're close enough, they, oh my gosh, uh, this, this is so annoying. Okay. Well, at least they're level one. Take that! And I only get a dollar. Okay, just making sure I have enough item. Okay, a couple musubis and uh, deep fried chicken. Fried chicken, bento, and some drink. Okay. And that should be plenty. It's so old. <laughs> so this is end of your tour. You came to Togenkyo, huh? Nice course. I knew you'd be here. You are... Adachi. It's amazing. This Kamuro City is getting newer and newer. But this old building is still here. So what has happened here? Well, during the fight between Tojo Clan and Omi, the truck came and hit the place. And ever since, no one uses it here. Okay. So many things has happened in this 18 years, huh? Yes has changed since you were here. Have you checked uh, the thing at the Nakamichi Street? The new police station. They, uh, they say they succeeded the 3K plan. I can't remember what it was, but... Because they succeeded, 
you know, they finally built this police station in the middle of the Kamro city. Okay. Ah, Tochiji in English. I don't know what the Tochiji means. Let me see. <laughs> Tochiji, okay. So. Let me, ah, right. Tochiji, uh, English. Oh, governor of Tokyo is very powerful now. Okay. So, you know, he was able to build this police station, I guess. I can care less now. Doesn't matter now. Hey, all the stuff I told you are true. I never lied to you. The Tojo clan is gone. Omi Lengo is managing this city now. Now, do you believe what I'm saying? Yeah. Alright. Much quicker than I thought it will take. What? I know you only believe what you see and what you saw. It doesn't matter what I tell you. You wouldn't believe me, so... I was letting you just walk around and allow you to see everything. So you act like you know everything, huh? You were even counting. Well, I knew you'd be here. Right? So, Mr. Adachi. What are you trying to do? I need your help for my investigation. Your boss, Masumi Arakawa. He worked with a police station to crash Kamuro City. And he brought Omirengo to Kamuro City. For Yakuza to work with police group, he must have brought huge amount of money. And I know the money went to Mr. Horinouchi. Okay, what the hell is Keishi Sokan? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> That's a police superintendent. Okay. So Horiuchi is a police superintendent. And I want to get Horinochi. I have some bad history with him. But of course, I'm just a, a driver's ed teacher. There's, I have no authority to do that. But I need to get to Arakawa and find out what he did. Okay. So that's why you came to me, because I have a connection to Mr. Ar Arakawa. So I want to know how Mr. Arakawa betrayed the Tojo clan and how he became big. And you also want to know that, right? Kasuga. What do you want to accomplish now? I want to meet father. While I was in jail, I just want to see him and talk to him. Right. I know Arakawa is having a big meeting tonight. He's gonna meet up with all the bosses. Big meeting. Right. They say they're gonna, you know, have, have a meal together. But basically, he's gonna go and, um, you know, represent, him, represent himself as a big boss. So it's a very important meeting. How did you know they're gonna have that tonight? Well, I used my connection when I was a, you know, policeman. I spent a lot of money to get this information. Alright. So where are they having this meeting at? Oh, perfect question. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's cool. Oh, they're gonna have a meeting in middle of this city? There are definitely Yakuza's talking to the police. Oh, wait. That store. Called Heianro. That place is... Have you been there? It's really expensive uh, place. Well, I promised father we're gonna eat the Peking duck together. I know Mr. Arakawa's calling me. What? It's not a coincidence the place is here. It must mean something. 
Yeah. Hey, realize he's just gonna have a meal with all the other bosses. There's not many places that's expensive. It's just it's coincidence. Now I'm just gonna go there, then I can meet the father. Wait. Meeting is happening tonight. And Omi's looking for you, right? Because you used to. If they catch you, you're gonna be in big trouble. There's no way we can enter from the main door. I have a plan to sneak in. What is your plan? I'll let you know when time comes. Alright. Then we just have to wait till tonight? Don't you have to prepare a little bit? Why don't we split up now? And meet up tonight here. And I'll give you this. What the hell's that? It's a smartphone. Have you seen it? How do you use this? It's difficult than regular phone. Okay, smartphone. Just get used to it. What you need to do now is just answer my call. Alright. Okay. Um, by using a smartphone from the menu, I can receive emails, take pictures, and call taxi. As, as a story progress, you would have more functions. Okay. Alright. Are you ready? Uh, we'll meet up tonight here. Don't get spotted. Sweet. Okay. Now... Oh, it's tonight, okay. Okay, it's finally night. Let's get prepared and let's go. Okay. Um, so I know when they say prepare, we are going to have a big, big fight. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> At the terminal. Okay. So let's head to the popo. And I'm going to purchase more food. How much money do I have? I have, whoa, seventeen dollars. <sighs> this heals my MP hundred. Mm. Okay, maybe two of that. Okay, that heals my MP. Okay. I think, <laughs> I think if you have this much stuff, right, okay, yeah, we have seven of them, okay, we should be good. I think I'm ready now. Oh no! <laughs> Crap. Oh, they're, they're about to have a festival here. Cool. What does it say? Festival! Oh, no, they wanna... No! <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> I was gonna look at this festival thing. Okay, let's go. Nice! Oh, my gosh. Okay, so he's level 3 now. <clears throat> let's get rid of level 1 guy. Less enemy, less damage. Okay. Oh, he's scared now. What? What is that? Okay, I'm gonna save my SP. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, nobody's coming. Okay. Alright, so... Ooh, look. Oh, they have... Obviously beer. Okay. This is Colben beer. Oh, no, Col oh, yeah, Colben, Colben beer. Is that a brand? I don't know what the hell's Colben beer. Let's see. Colben. What the? Colben. Abir. Let's see. 
Uh, um, Colben. Okay, they don't have. Ah, Colben. Colben ga. Ah, do you guys know what Colben is? Colben. Colben is um gold money, like these, right? So back in uh, when a long time ago. <laughs> We used to, you know, use this as our currency, Koban. It's it's a pure gold, very expensive. Um, right, Edo Jidai. So that's uh, okay. So 1603 to 1868 is the time of Edo. They use, uh, you know, these for money. And uh, yeah, cool. Sometimes, like people f dig these from the ground because uh, they 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 do. <laughs> okay, so I don't think this Koban beer exists. They just named the beer as Koban. These gold plates. Okay, then I see. What do I see here? I see. Okay, so f hot dogs. Uh, katsu, chicken katsu, beet, and pork katsu, and korokke. Oh, that looks good. Okay. Oh, then of course, let's discuss about the Peking duck. So, you guys know what Peking duck, right? Oh, oh, it looks good. Okay. <laughs> oh, it looks good. So they basically like cook the duck, but they only eat the uh, skin. And they, uh, you know, roll it with this rice paper thingy. So, right here. Oh, that looks good. Damn, that looks good. Okay, come on, load it. Oh. Oh, these these are the paper, rice paper. And these are the duck. And they roll it and they eat it. Oh, it looks good. Oh, man. And they put, like, a cucumber and little veggies here and there. But, uh, really good. I had it when I was younger. Oop. And they are going to eat it. And it's very expensive. It's not cheap. What? Where is Adachi? We're supposed to meet up here, right? Well, sell the business immediately. What? I'm telling you, business and bitches, you catch and release. You brush it up to be beautiful, then highest spot you sell it with high value. What? Go back to office now? Oh my god. Why am I paying you so much money, huh? I need to enjoy my nightlife. I don't have time to work. Alright. Hey, right there. What? Have you seen an old man with a <laughs> big body? A guy with a big body? No, I only spot beautiful ladies. Uh, okay. Are you meeting somebody? Why don't you call that person? Oh yeah, I have a smartphone now. Wait, how do I make a call? How? Oh, you don't know how to use it? Let me see. I'll help you. Oh, really? Right. Easy peasy. Hey, I found you. You can escape now. Oh, me. Shit. What? Hey, Nikogata. <laughs> how are you gonna... Take care of this. Who are you? Shut the fuck up. You sold me bad property. Oh, you Yakuza that I sold the property to. Well, thank you for buying the, a girl's bar from us. That business is not making any money. How are you gonna take care of that? When I was running that business, I wasn't making so much money back then. Liar. All the girls are quitting, 
We're not getting many customers. I can't even pay for the electricity. Boy, you have to do better business. What? It was a piece of shit property. Paid double money to buy that back. That's a nice joke. What? You think this is funny? Wait. What? He was gonna teach me how to use a smartphone. If you need to talk to him, get in line. I'm first. What? Wait, boss. He's wearing a red suit and a fro. What? No, the brothers told us. We're looking for a guy from Tojo clan, remember? He has red suit and big hair. You call my hair big? So, seems like you're a troublemaker. You said your name is Ogata Nick. Get back. I'm gonna teach them some manner. You can take care of them? Right. But once I beat them up, teach me how to use a smartphone. Okay. You f little. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna use the SP now. Let's see. Well, you know what? Oh, I don't have the. Oh, okay. I I want to call the special guys. In a in a demo they had. Oh, level five. Okay. Oh crap. Okay, what is best to beat level 5 guy or level 2 guy? Okay, let's go level 2 first. Okay. He better not call the other fighter. Oh, okay. Oh, missed it. Let's go! Boom! Okay, he's con unconscious now. Nice. Let's go! Dumb. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, oh, rank up? Oh, nice. Whoa, they're really beaten up. So really, did you sold the bad property to them? No, I was making several thousand or thirty thousand a month. So how come you sold it to them? Well, they're asking me for, you know, protection money and I refuse them, but they keep asking, so. Well, if you're making thirty, forty thousand a month, why don't you pay thousand dollars per month to us? No, this is why I told them. If you think it's easy to make that much money a month, why don't you run your own business? Then you sold the property to them, huh? Right. They said it's easy. Money for a thousand dollar a month for protection. Well, I run many businesses and I make several millions a month. But I can do it because I know how hard it is to make thousand a month. Okay. So you wanted to teach them how difficult it is to make money. Right. And they finally learned their lesson. Business is same as girls. You cannot keep chasing. They'll run away from us. We need to know how to balance and everything. But you need to, you know, keep working at it. Do you still want to run that business? No, I don't want to. By just having that store, it's costing us money. Then I'll buy it back from you. But only half price. You piece of shit. But I guess it's better to sell it to you. Now, what is your name? Sir? Kasuga. Kasuga Ichiban. Number one? Ichiban? Okay. Right. Ichiban means number one, so direct translation will be that. Okay. My name is Nick Ogata. Thank you for saving me. Well. Um. Uh, 
Right, how to use a smartphone, right? Yeah, I'll teach you. First, why don't you pull off your phone? Oh, okay. I feel like I got the hang of it. Thanks, Nick. You're welcome. Maybe this was not coincidence to meet. Can I send you an email sometime? We can be a male friends. <laughs> yeah, email friends. Uh, okay, but uh, you know... I just came out of jail today. Do you mind? No problem. I don't care about that. Okay. Well, I went to jail because I killed somebody. Okay. Well, interesting. But you were you really honest. I'm starting to like you. Okay. Well, don't worry. I have many type of people around me. So... I have some friends who are in deeper shit than you. Uh, let me say this. Um, run me, I don't have... Weird person like you. <laughs> oh, that's funny! <laughs> you got me, sir! Right. Okay, see you later, Ichiban. You don't have to contact me if you don't want to. No, I'm gonna send you email. Hey, Kasuga, who was that? My first email friend, Mr. Adachi. What? But where have you been? You said we'll meet up here tonight. Well, I went to uh, eat beef ball, so... And I asked an uh, extra beef ball and it took time for me to eat. I'm getting old. So, okay. Let's talk about the beef ball. Uh, oh man. <laughs> okay, beef, uh, let me see. Yoshinoya Tokumori. I think. Oh my gosh. Okay. So here they um they talk about uh, a beef ball. I don't I don't know if he went to Yoshinoya or some other place, but this is a common uh, beef ball place in Japan. Like they have. It's it's a chain store, so it's like McDonald's of Japan. Um. It's everywhere. It's usually around train stations so that people can, you know, get off the train and they can quickly eat eat and stuff. Um, so they have different levels of beef ball. So obviously this is small. This this size is uh, regular. And uh, this is what Adachi ate. So tokumori. Uh, so, so I guess they have... It's bigger. Uh, or more meat. Yeah, it looks like more meat. And a little bigger, so maybe a little bit more rice. Oh, it's so good. I When I visited Japan last week, I did eat these really good. <laughs> okay. Okay, are you prepared to, um, you know, face the old Mirengo? Okay, I think if I talk to him, the story is going to progress. So I'm going to stop here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, tell me if you like me to, you know, stop here and there and give you little tips about Japanese culture. I hope that, I hope you like it. I like talking about them. And allowing me to have browser on my screen <coughs> really helps to explain stuff. So let me know. And I'll talk to you guys uh, later. Peace.